Hey guys, this is Nikki and we are making teddy bear bath bombs today for Valentine's Day. The full recipe will be down below in the description box. First, I'm going to take the baking soda and I'm going to sift that. It is very important to sift out all of your dry ingredients because you do not want any chunks or lumps in your um, bath bomb mixture, which is going to result in white chunks in it and it won't have full color. So you want to make sure that you don't have any of those. So sift it really, really well. I'm sifting all of my dry ingredients except for my citric acid. I add my citric acid in at the end. I have used the method of using it before and using it after. Sometimes it doesn't really matter, but if you want to make sure if you have like a bright bath bomb and you want to make sure that the color is very vivid, then I would suggest adding the citric acid at the end. And by now, we've gotten pretty deep into this video, so please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications bell so that you can find out when we are putting up another video. You can also join me at 9 a.m. Monday through Friday for Coffee with Nikki, your daily cup of information and inspiration. Okay, so to color this bath bomb, I am using mica. Mica powders do not give you those bright, vivid colors, but they do make the water shimmer. So um, it's totally up to you what you would like to use. You could use lakes and dyes or you can use mica powders. And I'm just measuring out my liquid ingredients. I do this separately and I add this to the dry mixture without the citric acid and then I add that, mix it in good, and I make sure that I don't have any chunks in that as well because we do want the bath bomb to set up properly. The fragrance oil that I use is Candied Apple from Nature's Garden Candles and I absolutely love that scent. It smells so delicious. So that is what we are using for this. And remember all of the information to everything that was used in this video will be down below in the description box. Um, let me just share where I get my mica powders from. I normally get my mica powders from TKB Trading but you can also get them from Nurture Soap. Nurture soaps have really good quality micas and they actually have a really true red mica. It's so pretty. And Nurture Soap has a, a wide range of micas and they're great quality. They also have eco glitter. So um, you may want to go over there and try them. And I am using this mold that I got from Etsy. It is so, so super cute. But what I found out about this mold that it's better for your mixture to be a little damper. Um, not so wet. Because if it's so wet, it'll stay stuck in the mold. But it need you have to find that happy medium. You know, the um, wet sand texture is okay, but it needs to be a little damper than that because you will not get all the detail out. I've noticed that um, when I was doing it, if it wasn't wet enough, I was losing the stitches. And sometimes I was losing maybe one of the eyes. And so you want to make sure that it's damp enough. Wrapping it with the spoon will help you get it out more completely. Part two is the painting part, and it'll be up tomorrow.